Hey guys, Daniel here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, my wife and I went to a really big market. It's called Flea Market here in Germany and it's basically a backyard sale with hundreds of people under one roof. And you know what you can find an awful lot of? Yeah. Baskets. And dishes. <laughs> and of course German and Russian cameras. So, I will show you a lot of cameras that you have never seen before in your life, I promise. And I've bought something really cool, but I only reveal it in the end, what it was. While I was looking for my 5 dollar Context D2, my wife was shooting street photography with her Fujifilm X-E3. Because it's a perfect location to do that. Everyone is distracted with baskets and dishes and... There are people all over the place, so nobody cares if you're doing some photos of them. My wife was using my brand new black and white recipe, which I developed over the last month. So if you like the pictures, then don't forget to subscribe, so you don't miss the video where I reveal my black and white recipe. I shot this entire video with my new action cam, the Osmo Action, so you can expect a lot more street photography videos in the future. So, without further ado, let's go! Right in the beginning we found our first camera. It is an exacta from the German manufacturer Ihage. You probably know the XA1A, which we find later in this video. Here we found our first collection of cameras. A Canon EOS 1000 and a Minolta Dynex 7000. Both are too electrical for my taste. And a lot of uninteresting German cameras in the Aeroretic cases. German flea markets are full of these old German cameras. You will see a lot of them later in this video. In all flea markets you usually find a lot of strange things. Like giant teddy bears. Even if it's said size icon, it's usually some boring medium format camera. This kit looks like it could be directly from a meme. Ooh, a nice leather bag. Even if there are a lot of people, everyone had their masks on. So it should be fairly safe. Ooh, a Kodak bag. And we have a Minolta 5000 AF. Again, too much electronics. Some Coda Gold, which someone already filled up. Just a flash. Ooh, a whole basket full of cameras. And we found the Ihage XR A1 lens. With Carl Zeiss optics, of course. The next camera is some cheap Aqua Click 1. It's the same brand who makes some film stocks here in Germany. We 
we found a Russian Baldamatic too, a real rangefinder. Looks a bit funky. And we found the infamous Ihage XA Aeron. It has a 35mm 2.8 lens from Carl Zeiss. Pretty interesting, and I would have bought it if it had a raised level viewfinder. The maximum shutter speed of this camera is 1 500th of a second. Next camera is an EOS 10. A Russian Smena SL, if I pronounce it correctly. This old monkey toy gave me the creeps. What camera could it be? Oh, binoculars. Another stash of cameras. The first one is some strange Olympus zoom camera. And next we have some Canon EOS 3000. Oh, come on, give me some mechanical cameras. Ooh, a lot of expired films. Let's check what it could be. And they're all empty. So let's move on. Look at this doggy's happy face. And here we have some more modern German camera, the Pentacon Praktika PL Nova 1. You may know its bigger brother, Pentacon 6 TTL. Hidden under some crappy digital cameras, we found some point and shoots. The first one is a brown trend TN, and it's always a bad sign if the F number is missing. So, back in the box. Oh yeah, focus free. And we found a Bayred VSM, a camera from some unknown German manufacturer Bayer. With cameras like this, you can only guess the distance. And we found its predecessor, VSN2. Again, with no focusing mechanism. That's all the box has to offer. That's my favorite shot from the day.
the William Ecclestone tricycle. My wife was using the 27mm lens at 2.8, with a shutter speed of 125th of a second. The ISO was set to auto and a maximum of 3200. I nearly bought this camera. It looked at first like a golden purse or something, but this camera is called Penti 2 and it is a half frame camera with a 35mm Maya Gurlitz lens. And I'm a bit upset that I didn't bought it. It would be a pretty good street photography camera. Our oh, typewriters are looking so cool. If you ever need a key, go to a flea market. And this is the reveal what I have bought. It's not a camera, it's of course that cool looking Kodak bag. At first the sales lady complained that she had to put out all the camera gear out of the bag. But in the end we could persuade her to sell us the bag without all the camera gear. I always wanted to have a film box shaped thermo bag. After that, we walked a whole round through the entire hall again, because we didn't want to miss any cameras. In the end, we bought some fresh waffles. Mmm, waffles. They were pretty delicious. I've seen such cool bags a lot of time in other YouTube videos. And I always thought, <laughs> I want to have some bag like that. I really wanted to buy some cameras that day, but I'm not a fan of these 90s SLRs. And I'm already have an EOS 30V. Yeah, maybe next time I find some cool cameras again. Until then, I'm happy with my new bag. Oh man, what a ride. I bet you would have bought this bag too. It's a thermal bag to safely store your film in the fridge or in the freezer. And I would not recommend to use this as a normal handbag because the handle and the brackets are very brittle. And I already put <laughs> about 50 rolls of Kota Gold in it and a safely sword in the freezer. I like to have bought a new camera, but I didn't find anything interesting in particular. And I already own uh, this big boy here. It's a Canon EOS 30V and <laughs> I don't enjoy uh, such electronic cameras as much as my full manual ones, so buying another electronic camera would not make me any happier. The last time I was on the flea market I found the Pentax ME and the Konica MG, which I already made reviews about on this channel and <laughs> I already sold both of them. Oh, and please tell me, which one was your favorite photo? My wife would be happy to hear which one you like the most. And as always, if you have any questions, please do it in the comments down below. Until next time guys, take care, bye.